Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber. It's so good to have you here. Today we're going to be doing a extreme pantry organization. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time now and I'm finally getting around to doing it. So I hope that if you have some organizing to do yourself, that you find this video super motivating to get those things done and checked off of your to-do list. I'm going to show you a couple of tips tips and tricks that I like to use for organizing and cleaning as well throughout the video, so stay tuned for that. And I did buy a few new items, well actually a little bit more than a few items to help me organize. I had a few in my pantry already, but I definitely wanted to get a little more in depth with the organizing. So I bought quite a bit of stuff. I'll have everything linked down below. And first I'm just going to start off by prepping all of the new stuff, washing out any of the containers that I plan to use. And if you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so. It really helps to support my channel and I would love it if you'd stick around for more videos. So let's get started with cleaning and organizing. You give me this energy It is like you set me free Chasing heights to stay alive But if I'm with you, I'll survive Start by taking literally everything out of my pantry and then going through everything before I put anything back. I like to do this whenever I'm organizing, whether it be a pantry or a closet or anything like that. To me, it's just so helpful to take everything out to actually see what you have. You can see if you have like duplicates of things or if anything is old and need to, needs to be trashed, that kind of thing. So I like to take everything out and then go through it all, get rid of expired items or anything like that. And then once we figure out how we want to organize it, then I'll go ahead and put it all back into the pantry afterwards. Can I be around you for motivation? Just a little while a simple question. Can I get closer? Just for motivation. Yeah. 
now that we have the pantry completely empty, I want to go ahead and just wipe off all of the shelves. I'm using my Thieves Cleaner from Young Living. I'm just going to wipe them all down, make sure that they're nice and clean before we put everything back. So I knew that we had quite a bit going on in our pantry, but once you get it all out on the counter, it is slightly overwhelming. Um, we had stuff on our counters, on our island, on our table, by our coffee maker, on the floor. It was just everywhere. My husband came in at one point during all of this and saw everything everywhere, and I think his anxiety skyrocketed. So it is an overwhelming process, but I find this the most helpful to actually narrow down what you have, keeping what you need, getting rid of anything that you don't, and organizing it better that way. So I bought four different Lazy Susans for this project, and I really didn't know if I was going to use all of them, but I ended up using every single one of them. And now I can say I think I'm obsessed with Lazy Susans for organizing, especially in the pantry. I might even like put one in our fridge. I don't know. But it is just so helpful. I mean, you can put stuff behind each other. You can turn it and see what you have. And it's just, I would highly recommend. It's super nice to use. Um, so I used one for our vitamins. This has been so much easier for us to use on a daily basis in the way that it was organized before. And then I'm using one for the um, pouches for my girls. And you'll see me using them later on as well. So another item that I'm super happy on the purchase that we made for this was these risers for canned goods. We have never used them before, and I honestly don't know why. I know that people use them all the time, so this is like nothing new, but we haven't used it before. And let me just say, it's a game changer. You can see what you have. You don't have cans hiding behind other cans. I would highly recommend if you're not already using one. It just, it looks nice and it's super practical as well. I bought these divided bins specifically in mind to use for our bars. We currently had them in this little basket situation and it just really wasn't working anymore. We just have way too many. Um, we all like different kinds and everything. The girls have theirs. My husband has his. I have mine. Like it just, it wasn't working anymore. So I got two of these and it's just so much easier. You can see what you have, you know, everything's kind of lined up and organized by category. It's just so much better. You could use this for really anything, but for us, for the bars, it is working perfectly.
like I told you, you would see more Lazy Susans. Um, I used one for some more snacks and things like that, and then I want to use one for some like condiments and oils and vinegars and everything like that that we keep in our pantry. And again, if you're not using them, I would highly recommend. They're just fantastic for organizing and just seeing what you have. I bought quite a few of these large clear plastic bins from the home edit line at Walmart. And so here I'm just kind of organizing by type. So I have like a pasta bin, I'm gonna have like a snack bin, a chip bin, so on and so forth. Just trying to put like items together. That way, again, you can see what you have. It's easy to get to, things aren't hiding behind each other and try to just get a little bit more organized. I had our cereal already in some of these airtight containers, but I wanna go, wanted to go ahead and swap them over to these cereal ones. They're just a little bit easier for pouring. I thought it would be good for Kate, our oldest. She likes to get her own cereal in the morning. So um, I'm switching them over, but I'm gonna repurpose the ones that we were using for something else. I was just somebody. So we love Oreos in this house, um, especially while I'm pregnant. I, with my last pregnancy with my youngest Madeline and then this one, it's just one of my cravings. So we always have Oreos on hand, especially the double stuffed Oreos. So let me know down below in the comment section if you are a fan as well. But I wanted to go ahead and get these in an airtight container just so for aesthetic purposes, really. I mean, we go through them super fast. We don't have to worry about them getting stale. But I wanted them to just look a little bit nicer in our pantry. Next up is our candy stash. We just have way too much. Uh, we still had some Halloween candy. We have Christmas candy. Now we have Easter candy, our regular snacking candy that we just like to keep on hand. There was just a lot going on. They were in these really colorful bins. We still had our Easter, or not Easter, our Halloween basket up there for my daughter from Halloween. And so I just wanted to get it in one bin or mostly in one bin, get rid of anything that was older and, you know, not really good to eat anymore and just make it look a little bit nicer and a little bit more organized. One of my tips for organizing in clear bins or containers like this is to cut out the directions for whatever you're putting in that container and tape it on the bottom. 
Um, so for this, I'm using my rice, and I'm just going to cut out the instructions, and like I said, just tape it on the bottom. You could put it on the back of the container, whatever is easiest and works for you, but this way, you always have your instructions on hand. I know that's kind of a downside of putting items like this in clear containers is that you lose your instructions, so this way, you always have them on hand, and it's easy to change out if you ever change whatever you're putting in that container. Another little tip or trick for you here is if you have that like sticky residue stuck on your clear bins or containers, I don't know why they don't make those things easier to get off. <laughs> Half the time you have this like sticky residue left behind like I did here. So I got off as much as I possibly could. And what I'm going to do is use lemon essential oil, put it on a cotton ball or a paper towel and just kind of soak that area and let it start dissolving. The lemon does a really great job of kind of eating through that. Um, you could use like a little razor blade. I'm just going to use my fingernail and scrape off as much as I can. And then when you're down to just like the really sticky bit at the end, I just put a little bit more lemon on my cotton ball or paper towel and just scrub away. And it's good as new. It comes off super easy. I just wipe it off with a little bit of water afterwards and you're good to go. I'm planning to use these three different baskets for kind of like my overflow or extras to put at the top of my pantry. I had started kind of putting things in here as I was going, so now I just want to go through and kind of organize them a little bit more, you know, put the cereals together, the condiments together, that kind of thing. So like I said, these will just be my extras that will hang out at the top of my pantry and they stay a little bit more organized and more aesthetic that way. This last wire basket that you see, I'm planning to use for like onions and potatoes and that kind of thing. I don't currently have any on hand, so I don't really have anything to put in here for now, so it's just going to be empty, but that's my plan here, and that pretty much wraps this up. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you got a bunch of cleaning and organizing motivation today. I'm absolutely loving the end result here. Everything is just more clean and less cluttered. It's more organized. Things are easy to find. We, I can easily see what we have. Um, it makes it easier for like grocery shopping and making a grocery list that way because you know what you have, you know what you need. Um, things aren't hiding behind each other. So I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you get to organizing yourself and I will see you in the next one. Bye.